The Ondo State Governor, Oluwa Roteme Akere Dolusan, has described the horrific attack on innocent worshippers at St. Francis Catholic Church, Owa Lua Street, Owa, as a massacre and horrific. Akere Dolusan said he was terribly sad, noted that the attack was the most dastardly act that could happen in any society. Aside the scene of the attack, Akira Dolu also visited the hospitals where survivors of the unprovoked attack are receiving medical attention. He was also at the palace of the Olowo Overwo, Obagbadegeshi Ogunoye, to console with the monarch over the sad incident. Akira Dolu was joined by members of the state executive council, led by the secretary to the state government, Princess Oladoni Udu. The Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Ondo, Bishop Jude Arogundade, also visited the scene with the governor. Akere Dolu, who wept at the scene of the incident and hospital, said what has happened here today is tragic. No better way to qualify it. It is the most tragic event, horrific, what we have seen in America is a child play to what has happened here. That it happened in a church, to say the least, is most condemnable. I feel terribly sad, and I can understand our people are in sad mood. Nobody will see or hear what happened here that will feel safe. But let me tell you, we have a duty to protect you. Our security agencies lost about two men. It was not an expected attack. It was sudden. How they entered and escaped is still surprising. What has happened met us unexpectedly. On this matter, don't retaliate. We know what to do and you will hear it. The perpetrators will never escape. We are after them, and I can assure you, we will get them. I am not boasting. He continues to say, I want to express my condolence to those who have lost their dear ones to this unnecessary gruesome murder. It is a great massacre. Our people in Ondo State, we will not let down their guard. This will not happen again. We have all heads of security agencies here. They are listening to me and I am urging them to take all necessary steps. This must not happen again, he said. We must be very vigilant. I want to particularly send a word of condolence to the bishop. What they damage here is much. Dynamite was used. We can see pool or pools of blood everywhere. I have come to appeal to you to maintain your calm and let the security agencies take charge. They are taking this seriously. Please don't take laws into your hands. At the palace of a war of a war, Governor Akiri Dulu said the gunmen made the mistake of attacking a war, vowing that they will not escape justice. What happened shocked me. It shocked everyone. It, will, it was like a deliberate target on our war. But they made a mistake because we are bold. We don't run away from battles. We will fight them no matter what it takes. Please appeal to our people not to take laws into their hands. The government will not sit back without ensuring that those who did this pay for it, the governor said. The Olowo commended Governor Akiri Dulu for showing leadership, adding that it takes genuine leadership for the governor to have flown into the state from Abuja barely three hours the incident happened. I called you less than three hours ago from Abuja and you are here already. That's leadership. It's quite unfortunate that this kind of incident would happen in Owo. There must be a motive behind this. 
it behoves on our security agencies to investigate this deep down so that those behind it will face the full rot of the law. Hmm. I keep hearing Governor Kerry Dolu say that people should not retaliate and that he is going to make sure that those people are held accountable and are being arrested. I hope that is the case because what we have seen in the past and in every situation where places have attacked, there have never been anybody that have been arrested or taken to court for these attacks that have been happening several in in uh, all the all in the whole of Nigeria. I don't think there have ever been w just one one case out of all these cases of gunmen Boko Haram have not been solved since all these um, gunmen attacks started. So I don't know if this Owo attack is going to be an exception. I hope so. I hope it's an exception. The bomb attack, if you people remember, on uh, Kaduna Abuja train, till today, till tomorrow, the people that were kidnapped from that train are still in captive as we speak. F only like few of them were released, those were, that were Muslims. Uh, one was head of one Islamic group and the other one has a high post in their Islamic organization too. And a pregnant woman was also released on the basis of compassion. So those are the only people that have been released so far. All the others are still in prison and we are getting threats from Boko Haram saying that they are going to start killing them one by one if their demands are not met by federal government. So I don't think this is going to be an exception unless um, uh, the Nigerian army decided to start actually doing work actually doing their work, doing something that people will see and say, okay, kudos, these people are actually working. Except for the fact that they're on the battlefield and maybe in Sambisa forest fighting. We don't see that. But actually, we need cases to be solved. This kind of cases, we need these cases to be solved so that it will, it will, it will show to people that they're actually capable and actually doing their work and it will caution whoever have this kind of thought in their head to do this kind of thing that they are going to be caught no matter what and no matter what they do to hide so in saying they are going to make sure that these people are held accountable i hope so all i know is that our system is not it's, it's not even built in such a way that people will feel secure it's not even built in that such such way such manner i mean in overs outside the country, we we'll see how they are, how they do their investigative journalism and so on. How they like take their time to investigate cases and make sure that these people are actually held accountable and not just that. What is going to end this one is media paparazzi. You know, everybody is going to come out. You know, people are going to go on status, WhatsApp, Instagram to post. Oh, my condolence to so so so. After like a few weeks. People will start forgetting, uh, forgetting that this actually happened. This actually took place. The only people that is not going to forget are the families of these people that their lives have been taken untimely. Those are the only ones that will not forget. In a couple of weeks, we will forget. And maybe the case, it will be case closed for them. Even at the police station, they will stop investigating. And that is the last you're going to hear of it. The case will still not be solved. Hmm? Until these cases are being solved, that is when the, there is going to be an end to these security issues in Nigeria. This is where I'm going to stop for now. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please and please do subscribe. Hit the like button so that this video can reach a larger, larger audience. Lastly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. We still have more great news coming your way today. Please stay with us.